Hello and welcome to Sunset at Three Barrel Cove for what will be our level 27 episode of Purple Rage, our barbarian life. Uh, as mentioned previously, I went on to complete uh, Giant Hold. I won't say we looked uh, crushingly dominant in doing so, but neither were we uh, absolutely smashed all over, didn't die and completed the stuff in reasonable time. The crowd control, the, both the stuns we have, were working very nicely. So uh, that was a, a big positive. And I've continued to build on our uh, assets in the um, Dreadnought tree. So we've now got uh, building up against the boss more of these um, stacks of vulnerability possible. So hopefully that should cut down on the fight time against those things we've completed the helpless damage so anything that gets uh, tripped by our our signature attack here the dire charge or that gets done by our stunning plow should should be taking uh, significantly more damage feet for 27 i couldn't see anything really significant it was a toss-up between barbarian damage reduction epic damage reduction and uh, blinding speed. I notice we only have a 10% speed, uh, sorry, a 10% attack bo speed bonus, and we could have had 15% with the, the blinding speed. But in the end, I went for epic DR. We are at, uh, I think we're on a bit more than that, actually. I think we get a 10 for wearing medium armor and raging, so I think we end up with 138, so it's not that bad. Maybe pushing up towards 60% uh, damage reduction. So not terrible. Aside from that, everything else pretty much the same. I've taken, I think, a couple of little points in the push through the line for more stats on action boost triggers because we are using haste boost quite a lot making use of the shrines as well so quest wise we went through the two to tobias quite nicely i know that the other one that i do in here the gal's tomb is going to present a much stiffer challenge just the sheer volume of opponents but i also know that the majority of them are going to be stunnable so Unlike the Tobias, our crowd control should work reasonably well in here. And I'm hoping that's going to tip the balance for us. This is likely going to be our last one before setting out for Wayloon. So... We'll use this as a bit of a barometer for where the build is at. A single blood tide pirate peers into the gloom. He seems to be using and abusing all the crowd control and boosts we have. As if new tenants have made Grey Gar's tomb their home. Problem we're gonna have is a lot of this stuff is not seeable for us until it's too late. Look at the health chugging down there, wow. Yeah, they are tough opponents, aren't they? We're doing well against them damage output wise and crowd control but my word if they get a chance to uh, hit us they're hitting hard have we still got some up here we got one there Every time a reaper pops up, 
hit the big attacks, the big defences, the dodge, dodge boost, everything. The only thing we can't do is crowd control the beggars. Terrible. Okay, half of those I couldn't even see. I'm doing all right against them, though. Now we have another group down there which we could go piling into. Yeah, so if we, as soon as we get those stuns in, they're suffering, aren't they? We're actually being significantly more dominant than I expected here. I remember one of you saying you felt like you went through sort of peaks and troughs on the levelling process for different characters. I've certainly felt that with this one. He came storming out of the gate, didn't he, in Heroic, absolutely blasting his way through content. And then, as is often the case, in early Epic we had that bit of a lull, didn't we? But he seems to be recovering his, uh, his stride now. Come on. Boost. Go on, hit him, hit him hard. We get everything on this side, yes. We just nab that. No, I'm going to have to go and nob all the stuff on the other side. get you by sheer volume, don't they? Another load coming here, I think. Thought so. Come on, let's get after them. Yeah. There is a shrine in there, do we need it? Possibly. Uh, do we need it? We're not too far from the end, are we? Crikey, look at the damage those things are doing. Wow. There's going to be an awful lot of stuff down there, isn't there? I bet there's a load of Reapers in there as well. What are we gonna do? Are we just I think we're just we're not gonna do anything stupid. We're gonna invite them to us and try and hold this door if possible. Go on, get them. Yeah. do we have down there just a oh yeah they're shifty buggers aren't they sorry now I know we've got we need feather fall here don't we I know we've got stuff all over the floor down here haven't we nice one shot there with the big raging thing I 
That's not clever. That is not clever at all. We could be in bother yet. Oh, that's not good either. Come on. At least let's not go quietly. That ticking uh, light damage is a real pain. got the uh, still hemorrhaging hit points with this sodding light damage we keep putting. I need to keep the feather fall on else we're going to be uh, in all sorts of trouble yet. the 10 pick points up. Come on. And every one of these buggers gone. They're causing us untold trouble. We're never going to get to pull the levers while they're up anyway, so might as well just uh, mash them. Right, is that it? No, there's still somebody around somewhere. Can't even see where it's coming from. We're going to have to go back up anyway. Now, am I going to get away with pulling these levers in peace here? I don't know where the opponent is because I can't see the brother. Oh, he's over there. Okay, we're going that way anyway. days there's still another one there my word yeah I knew it would be a much sterner challenge than Tobias just the weight of numbers that gets you in here broadly speaking I think we've stood up to them reasonably well Plus a shrine. Go on, get him, get him, get him. That's pretty good. Is there a shrine, in fact, in here? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, there is. There is. Let's let's get that taken. So looking at what I'm seeing here, and thinking that most of Wayloon is going to be vulnerable to stuns as well, I think. I think we should do okay in there. At least I'm hoping so. Just activate this thing and then just come right away from it so it doesn't uh, spawn a whole load of other opponents. Get it to come down and say hello to us down here. We can't stun it, can we? No. Still a lot better than being surrounded by all the stuff on the platform that would have come had I gone up there, so not bad. You unlock the underwater door with the key you took from the Yuan T. Would have run 
right? The treasure is almost within Ooh. your grasp. But then I will pulse it to resonate from the shaft above. Okay, lads, told you I'd find the shark cat to this hidey hole. Stunning to the very end. Go on, stun him again. Yes, beautiful. Well done. And Reaper to finish. I thought we looked pretty good there, broadly speaking. The only time we struggled was all the build-up of... Um, what do you call it? Divi is it divine punishment that light damage that they keep casting when that starts stacking one on top of another that gets quite annoying but uh, no that was all right deep into the rock behind we'll go into Waylon in uh, good heart after that I think so we've Waylon and Stormhorns and I guess in between time maybe some Delirious Tomb which I don't look forward to because all of our stun business won't work in there i would like to finish if possible with our traditional journey up the what goes up for level 29 because we'll have a bit of a thing to measure against there won't we the uh the monk life i know ended up there and although he had sentience on his weapon, he was only using a level 20 weapon, whereas we'll, we'll have a 29 to go at. So I think it will be, broadly speaking, even on that score. So we'll be able to uh, to see where we're at. I think he's about the same, maybe a little bit better. I mean, we don't have a bird helping us, but uh, we do have the bonus of the stunning blow, which the monk didn't have. And this is kind of, uh, sorry, that's kind of the equivalent of the Drifting Lotus on the Monk. Very similar in what it's doing for us. So uh, there are some uh, some parallels to be drawn there. I do miss the bird, but you can't have everything. And our main stat is substantially higher than it was with the Monk because of all these different little things that boosting strength. So, yeah, I think we're on a... A good uh, a good track at the moment and uh, look forward to pushing on and up towards the cap um, epic destiny wise we've already got everything all the main things in tier 4 in dreadnought which is as far as we're gonna go obviously because we're not playing at the cap so it's just a matter of filling things out as uh, best we can maybe we take a couple of points in here for the melee power there and then push on back towards the three imbue dice there and call it good okay i think that about wraps it up for this one went uh, as good as could be expected i think so not uh, too too um, disappointed at all with that thanks very much as always for looking and i'll speak to you next time take care